One Piece. Story was made by Aichiro Oda. Chapter 29. Slopes. Usopp stood defiantly atop the rugged slope, the wind ruffling his unkempt hair, and the black cat pirates glaring up at him, their weapons brandished with menacing intent. In his racing thoughts, he couldn't help but wonder, Huh? Where the hell is that guy? Wasn't he running ahead of me? A sense of impending trouble washed over him as he realized he was the sole defender against the menacing black cat pirates. It was Django who called out, his voice laced with demand. You're the one who overheard our plans. What do you want? With his signature goggles firmly in place, Usopp mustered every ounce of confidence and declared boldly, I'm warning you, retreat now. I have a 100 million crewmen waiting to kill you all. Only an idiot would fall for that, one of the crewmates remarks with a sigh. However, Django, in utter shock, stammered, What? One hundred million crewmen? So, so many. Captain, he's only lying, they warned him. Don't believe him. Django pondered. Panic gripped Usopp as he muttered aloud, They saw through my lie. Do you think we're two-year-olds? The black cat pirate scoffed. You bastard, how dare you lie to me? Captain Django, good news, a crewmate reported. Django's eyes lit up with anticipation. What? You found food? Not food, the black cat pirate continued. We found treasure on that weird boat over there. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Probably worth around four. No, five million berries. What? Five million berries. Usopp whispered in awe. Why would those guys have so much money? With a new idea, Usopp raised his voice. That is my treasure, but I can give it to you. Give! Give it to us! The pirate stammered. Yes! Usopp insisted. I will give you the treasure, but you must retreat. What? Trying to bribe us? We are not as low as you think! The pirates responded, their defiance unwavering. Idiot, Django remarked. Of course we're going to take the treasure, but we don't have to retreat. That sly bastard, Usopp thought to himself, devising a plan on the fly. Django produced a mysterious ring and shared with Usopp, Look at this. After I say one, two, Django, you will let us pass. Usopp realized the hypnotic trick from their previous encounter and watched with alarm as Django began his countdown. One, two, Jang, you idiot! Nami's voice rang out as she appeared behind Usopp, bashing him on the head with her staff. Who the heck is that girl? Captain, this isn't the time to let us pass, the pirates exclaimed. Pointing accusingly at the startled pirates, Nami demanded, All the treasure on that boat belongs to me. Don't you dare take anything. Put it all back. Do you hear me? She then turned her gaze to Usopp. How can you give away someone else's treasure? Ouch. You could have just told me, Usopp replied, rubbing his head. Nami retorted, What are you talking about? I just saved you. What? She continued. Like I said, don't look at his pendulum. He's a hypnotist. Nami's revelation stopped Django in his tracks. With a worried expression, she turned to Usopp and inquired, Where's Luffy? Wasn't he running ahead of you? I don't know. I was running behind him, but he disappeared from my sight so fast, Usopp replied. Maybe he got lost? Damn. At a critical time like this, Nami sighed. Usopp pointed down the slope and said, Now, you charge ahead. I'll cover you from here. Why me? Nami protested. How can I beat them? I'm weak. With his legs shaking, Usopp barked back. Don't think just because I'm a man that I'm stronger. Can't you see that I'm shaking in fear? Look at my legs. I can't even move. I bet you're only lying, Nami retorted sharply. They forgot about us, Django sighed, issuing the order. Everybody charge. Destroy the village. Panic overtook Usopp and Nami as they scrambled to respond. They're coming, she warned him. Oh yeah, I have these spikes. Usopp reached into his bag of gadgets, frantically searching for a solution. 
Great stuff. Gimme some. Gimme, Nami urged. Get the hell out of our way, the pirates bellowed, their swords raised high. Usopp and Nami retaliated by throwing caltrops at the pirates. This will slow them down. Go to hell, they yelled in unison. Zoro lay on his back, his breath heavy, his clothes smeared with oil from a treacherous slide. His irritation flared as he muttered, Damn Nami, I'm going to teach her a lesson. With a determined grunt, he hauled himself up, gripping his two swords tightly. Huh, I can do this, he thought aloud. Using his blades as makeshift climbing tools, he stabbed the ground with his swords repetitively as he made his way past the slippery oil. A triumphant shout escaped him. Made it! Now! Which way is north? Meanwhile, Luffy darted around the island, his head hanging low, shouting, Run north! Run north! Run north! But his wild sprint led him to a summit encircled by dense trees. He spun around, hollering, which way is north, he exclaimed. Back on the north side of the island, Nami's caltrops proved effective, causing the black cat pirates to stumble and cry out in pain as they stepped on the metallic spikes. Good, it works. Nami praised her own craftiness, while Usopp readied his slingshot, declaring, Now for my special attack technique, bullet. He took aim and took down a few pirates. Good job. Keep up the good work. I'm going to go rest a while, Nami commended Usopp, ready to take a breather. The battle isn't over yet, Usopp retorted. But as Nami turned around, she stood in disbelief. What now? Usopp questioned in the heat of the battle. Nami pointed to the ground. There are spikes behind us too. Annoyed, he retorted, Idiot! You threw those yourself! Suddenly, a black cat pirate leaped from behind with a stone-like hammer, shouting menacingly, You're blocking our way! Now die! He swung the hammer against the back of the sniper's head. Bloodied and battered, Usopp collapsed to the ground. The pirates passed by, mocking him. Huh! Did you really think you guys could stop us? Let's go! Captain Kuro is waiting for us! They confessed, as they walked past him mockingly. However, Usopp mustered his last ounce of strength and grabbed the pirate who had struck him. You, what do you think you're doing? Nami couldn't help but watch as sweat poured across her face. Let go, you idiot, the pirate exclaimed, raising his hammer once more. I will never let go. I will not let you go because I want the villagers to believe that I'm a liar and the village stay as peaceful as always, Usopp declared, his voice strained. I'm gonna shut you up, another pirate proclaimed, advancing with a sword. But Nami finally intervened, knocking him away with her staff, although she too was thrown against the rocky slope. Usopp attempted to speak, but a pirate pressed his sword against him, sneering, might as well kill both of them. Hearing this, Django shouted in frustration at his crew. You idiots, just go attack the village. Did you forget Captain Kuro's plan? We can't mess it up, or else he'll kill us all. Do you hear me, you idiots? To the village! In a panic, the pirates dashed up the slope, leaving Usopp behind. Wait, you bastards, he tried to say, reaching out to grab one of the fleeing pirates. Wait, don't attack the village. You're so annoying, the pirate scoffed as he kicked him away and they charged onward. I beg you, please, please don't kill the villagers. Usopp's desperate plea echoed through the chaos. Suddenly, the black cat pirates were sent flying through the air, crashing back down the slope in disarray. What took you guys so long? Nami muttered, catching her breath. What's going on? Captain Django? We didn't know they had these kind of people in the village, one of the pirates exclaimed as Luffy and Zoro finally arrived on the scene. What took us so long, Zoro questioned, his resentment clear in his voice. How should I know? Right now I just want to kick some ass, Luffy added, his anger apparent. Nami, how dare you kick me, Zoro shouted at her. Usopp, you idiot, 
You didn't even tell me which way north is. Luffy's frustration boiled over, his voice echoing through the chaotic battlefield. Who are those guys? Django clutched his hat questionably, his confusion mirroring that of his defeated crew.